when you come to the Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester, you walk through the doors and immediately you know that you're included. You can see it, you can feel it, it's just part of our mission. We refer our patients and their families to the Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester in particular because we know that when they walk through the doors, they're going to be taken care of. When I do the work that I do in meeting all different uh, people from around the city, one thing that I do recommend is that they call the club so that their child could be a part of something. We see all kids from all different walks of life and offices can build relationships with them. And what the Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester does is provide a place, a safe place, a nurturing place where you're accepted regardless of what your ability is, regardless of what your intellectual capacity is. There are different groups across the city that are trying to do that and it's just so difficult to try to pull that off and they may be successful on a smaller scale but here you have really tangible quality programming every season. It's a unique culture there that I don't think you have necessarily at all other places that are trying to do this. I love being included at the Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester because I get to make new friends and be included in all the activities. My membership here at the Boys and Girls Club has allowed me to work with people of all different abilities and it teaches inclusion. This allows everyone to just come together as a whole and strengthen the community. And the community is really sort of focused on and centered on what kids can actually do and not what they can't do. We also have the Martin Richard Challenger Sports Program here where we run four sports per year. What happens in that environment in each child uh, with a disability is paired with a buddy whose role is to support the child in whatever way they need. So the buddy I've been working with for quite some time has done all the Challenger programs and just his will and determination out there, all the challenges he's been through and to overcome them out there on the field and just show everyone everything he's got, he's really inspirational. What you see on the field is pretty phenomenal. You see kids who come at the beginning of the, of the season and they, the typically developing kids don't have a clue of what they're supposed to do. And, um, and in, in other circumstances, they might be afraid and not want to approach a child that has a disability. By the end of the season, they're high-fiving each other, they're interacting, they're having conversations. The children um, with disabilities are, feel included and they belong as part of a group and they're happy, they're, happy, they're smiling, it's just a lot of joy. And the other typically developing kids, they learn tolerance and they learn res to respect the challenges that a child has and to not look away. And there's this realization that we can all be enjoying this moment, but we don't all have to look the same. And, and everybody's okay with that. The greatest impact has been on students without disabilities because it's given them an opportunity to see kids with disabilities in a positive light and, and really forge some genuine relationships and friendships with them. Every parent that we work with says, you know, I want my, my child to be accepted. I want my child to be welcomed. I want my child to be included. And they find that at, at the Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester. Thank you.